Roots of Algebraic and Transcendental Equations Generally, an equation is solved by factorization, but in many cases, the factorization method fails. And in such cases, to solve the equation f of x is equal to 0, we use numerical methods. Let's see some of the methods to solve the equation f of x is equal to 0. The first one is bisection method, second is regular falsi method, third is newton raphson method and the fourth one is second method. In this video, I will be discussing the bisection method. To find the roots of the equation f of x is equal to 0. But before that, I would like to tell you what is an algebraic equation and what is a transcendental equation. The equation f of x is equal to 0 is called an algebraic equation when f of x is an algebraic polynomial. Like for example, x cube plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is an algebraic polynomial. f of x is equal to x cube plus x minus 1. Hence, when f of x is equal to 0 and f of x is an algebraic polynomial, then it is called an algebraic equation. Then, what is a transcendental equation? If f of x contains trigonometric, logarithmic, exponential, such type of functions, then f of x is called a transcendental equation. Like for example, e raised to minus x minus sin x is equal to 0 or 2x minus cos x minus 3 is equal to 0. Both of these are transcendental equations. Bisection method. See, this is the algorithm of the bisection method. For any continuous function f of x, we have to find two points a and b such that f of a is less than 0 and f of b is greater than 0. And you need to find out a midpoint such that xn is equal to a plus b by 2. This will be more clear if we solve an example. Find a root of x cube minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by bisection method correct up to 4 decimal places. Here f of x is equal to x cube minus 5x plus 3. We need to find out two points f of a less than 0 and f of b greater than 0. When we put x equal to 0 we get f of 0 equal to 3 and when we put x equal to 1 we are getting f of 1 is equal to minus 1 which means that f of 1 is less than 0 and f of 0 is greater than 0. So the root will lie between 0 and 1. Hence a will be equal to 1 and b will be equal to 0. The next step is to make a table. We have to make 5 columns like this. First one for the iteration number, second for the value of a third for the value of b, then for xn, and last for sine of f of xn. See, we'll start with the first iteration. That is, we have got a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0. To find out x1, it will be equal to a plus b by 2, that is 1 plus 0 by 2. So, it is equal to 0.5. Then, find out f of 0.5. That is, you'll find out f of 0.5, which is 0.5 cube 
माइनस फाइव इंटू पॉइंट फाइव प्लस थ्री आई हैव रिटर्न द इक्वेशन ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स ऑन फाइंडिंग आउट एफ ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव वी गेट द वैल्यू पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव As you can see in the last column, I have written sine of f of x, f of x n. So we are only concerned with the sine. Point six two five is a positive value. So here we'll write positive. Then, as I'm getting f of point five positive, it means that now my root will lie between point five and one. f of a is less than zero. That is, f of one I have got less than zero. So here, for the next iteration, a will be equal to one, and from this I have got that f of point five is greater than zero, which means my b will be equal to point five. Then find out x two, which will be one plus point five by two, and it is coming as point seven five. Again, you need to find out f of point seven five. So the equation is point seven five cube minus five into point seven five plus three. And on solving, we get minus point three two eight one. But as I told you, we are concerned with the sign. So the sign is negative. So here I'll write negative. F of point seven five is coming negative. This indicates that now the root will lie between point five and point seven five. Again, f of a is less than zero, so I'll write down point seven five here, and f of b is greater than zero, so write down point five here. Next is to find out x three, so x three will be point seven five plus point five divided by two, and it is coming as point six two five. Then find out f of point six two five, which is coming as point one one nine one. But only the sign matters, and so here we'll write positive. As we have got f of point six two five positive, so the root will lie between point six two five and point seven five. So the fourth iteration will be a will be point seven five and b will be point six two five. Then same way find out x four, which is point seven five plus point six two five divided by two, and it is coming. Point six eight seven five. On finding out f of point six eight seven five, we get a negative value. So as we have got negative value, we understand that now the root will lie between point six two five and point six eight seven five. This way, you will have to continue until you get two iterations such that. the values of both the iterations are same up to four decimal places as we can see here x13 and x14 are 0.6566 and 0.65667 so we got x13 and x14 same up to four decimal places so we'll stop there and from this we come to know that the root of the equation x cube minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 is 0.6566 so this way you have to solve the example by using bisection method next video will be on regular falsi method thank you